Pause at the point now that I have supported and followed the floating bridges since they first started. Um, they're probably one of the, if not the hardest working band on the Sunshine Coast, and also one of the most passionate. Um, and if you if you haven't come across these guys, then shame on you. They're very very good. Um, they're basically roots reggae rock. That's the easiest way to sum it all up. But they're a lot more than that. Um, they're also well known for their meaningful lyrics, um, always always paying tribute to the traditional owners of the land. So they've got their roots tied with that, and their their songs have a very powerful delivery. Um, they have they switch between four vocals. It's a sight to be seen. They're well known for their energy laden um, live shows and um, are often requested by um, the big touring artists that come through the area as well. James love them and I'm proud to have them as my brothers basically. Um, Chasing Sunsets is the album that you should look into but they have a back catalogue of a single which was Freedom and Fire, which was the first big EP they did, as well as the original Floating Bridges EP. But wait till you see what they have coming up next. Um, they have been showing off some of the new stuff in recent shows, but uh, I'm pretty excited to see the new EP when it comes out soon enough. Definitely, definitely check out the Floating Bridges at the Clanger Music Festival on the Sun Stage on the Sunday. Make sure you follow this act and plenty more local ones at this year's Calandria Music Festival. All the information can be found at the Calandria Music Festival website, their Facebook, as well as checking the point for regular updates. For more info, sound clips, and more on our local artists, head to the band's page on the point website.